I've had this 89K5 Blazer in the shop for quite a long time now, and I have done a ton of work to this thing off camera. In this series, we're gonna take it all back apart again and do it right, because we used to have a deadline, but career changes made it pretty much impossible to meet that deadline, and now we have no deadline. The biggest thing this thing needs is a new frame. It's been shoddily repaired by me and a previous person, so that it could hopefully get back on the road quickly, but we're gonna put a new frame under it. At the same time, as swapping everything out with regard to this frame, we're gonna refurbish more parts. We're gonna fix more leaks. We're gonna take care of everything else that it needs, as well as do more custom touches with the time that we have. First thing we need to do is get all the stuff that's connected between the frame and the body separated so we can take the body back off. Let's get started. connected much and the body mounts are off. Let's get the body off and move to where it needs to be. In order to have enough room to work on the frames and everything in those, the body's gonna have to go outside on the gravel and we're gonna need to build a custom wooden dolly with some off-road tires on it to get it out there. Let's build it. outside and thus out of sight, out of mind, it's time to get this frame torn down and save every single component we could possibly use again, then we scrap the rest of it.
Now that all the big stuff is off of the frame, you might be able to see on camera, this side of the frame up there in the front is bent quite a bit more than this one. The whole thing is kind of bowed like a banana all the way along the length of it. And you can see this sort of dodgy repair that was done and then further supplemented by me with more reinforcement on the other side. This is why it needs a new frame. Let's finish this thing. That bolt did not want to come out of there. Turns out it's bent if you can see it on camera. All right, so we got the old frame cut up and out of here. There's just a giant mess left behind I'll clean up off camera and a bunch of parts that are good that I'll rearrange off camera. In the next video, we're gonna dive into getting the new frame in here and paying some much needed attention to the drivetrain components that have a lot of leaks and other issues to worry about. I'm gonna end this video off here. Thank you so much for watching.